I asked them some questions about their love story and how they felt about each other, but they don't know what each other wrote about the other person. So they're gonna be listening very intently. You've been dating for seven years. Became engaged last December in 2016. Caselyn and Trevor, you met at Avon High School. So let's look at your love story that I talked to you about. Caselyn, you said the first thing you noticed about Trevor was his blue eyes, his athletic, caring attention to detail and how he treated friends and others around him. Trevor, for the first thing you noticed about Caselyn was her bright socks she was wearing at a party. Yes. <laughs> and your pickup line was that I loved her socks. <laughs> Trevor, you said the things you liked about your wife-to-be, she cares about other people before herself, and she's really an independent person but she can hold her own and she loves a good challenge. Jason, you said you wanted to spend the rest of your life with Trevor because the two of you have wonderful communication and he makes your weakness into strengths and motivates you to be the best me you can be. What a beautiful love story. And today is another chapter in that story. Case, you came into my life over seven years ago. We met each other at a friend's house after one of my Friday night football games. I remember seeing you and thinking that I didn't want to take my eyes off of you. You were glowing. Eventually, everyone circled up on the floor to play a card game, and I snuck into the open spot right next to you. I looked into your eyes, and you looked into mine, and I knew there was an instant connection. Our story took off from there, and as we stand here in front of our friends and family, I am amazed at the road that we have traveled together. We found each other just as kids, and I have witnessed you grow into a beautiful, intelligent, and driven young woman. You know as well as me that our road was not the easiest. Our paths took us hundreds of miles apart as you pursued college and track, and I pursued college <laughs> and soccer. There were times when we wouldn't see each other for weeks. I would come visit you on weekends to watch you compete, and you would come support me at one of my games. Being with you for even that short amount of time made it always worth it. It made me realize that I could never give up on us. That pain and distance apart only caused my love to grow. Those challenges made us grow together and you became my best friend through it. Our journey has brought us to this beautiful day and today I take you to be my wife. I promise to love you without reservation, comfort you in times of distress, and encourage you to achieve all of your goals. I promise to help you be a wonderful mother and build a beautiful family with you. I promise to grow with you in faith, always be open and honest with you, and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. I love you. Trevor, I can't believe this day is finally here. I'm so glad that I got the courage to ask if I could wear your football jersey over seven years ago. You have stood by me and encouraged me, but most of all, you have always believed in me. You make me feel beautiful, safe, and smart, and give me butterflies each time you walk in the room. <laughs> you are my best friend, and the one who listens to me, laughs with me, and accepts me for who I am. You are my person, the one I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with. I promise to respect you, celebrate with you, listen to you, and comfort you. I promise to stand by your side, regardless of the obstacles we may face. Before I knew who you were, I prayed for you and promised to continue to pay for you with the same devotion. It's now my privilege and pleasure to announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Trevor and Caselyn Smith.
uh, my final words are going to be for Trevor. Uh, you've been the best friend anybody could ask for. Uh, you've always been someone I can count on in any given circumstance, anyone I can go to. And uh, you've been my greatest friend. So for now, uh, I'm going to pass that torch to your new best friend, Caitlin. I wish you two the happiest and brightest of futures together. Uh, it's truly been a privilege to be your best man and your best friend. So if you guys would please join me in raising your glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt. I always say that there's many people that impact your life. You know, from the moment when your daughter is born, from the moment when your son takes his first steps. And all of these come together for a reason. And every person that you've met, every person that's here, has impacted everyone's life. And Caitlin has impacted mine more than anyone could ever imagine. We both met at Southern Illinois University. She was a pole vaulter, I was a thrower. Completely different worlds. It's been a journey since then. By the best circumstances, I became her roommate for th three years. Kaysen was that person that you could just call on any moment of any day. Now Trevor's sitting here, <laughs> And I promise you, Trevor, I can bench 350 and I swear if you hurt her. <laughs> but you are the sweetest, the kindest, the funniest, the goofiest person I've ever met. And Trevor, you compliment her just perfectly. They're the best couple that I know. And it's the best thing and I know it's gonna last forever. Uh -huh.